Vince McMahon. It's WrestleMania 700. And uh, they put the bionic arms on the former WWE chairman. And he's coming out here for WrestleMania 700 to take on Dildo Man. One of the most incredible matches we may ever see here in Worldwide Wrestling Universe. What a tie, though, that Vince McMahon has there. Look at that ruby color there. Turning me on. Good afternoon, everybody. Swallow me. Yeah, swallow Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon reportedly paid millions in hush money. We're talking about millions. We're going to read it. Uh, whoops. Where's my Vince McMahon PNG? Well, since Vince McMahon never hired me because he's now an idiot, because if Vince McMahon hired me, uh, I would have made the WWE uh, richer and better than Pat McAfee. I would have been better than Pat McAfee. Pat McAfee, you pussy. Do you hear me? Pat McAfee, I didn't need to make my YouTube channel because I was a former kicker, okay? I need to go out and reach out to all the NBC people I knew to get my YouTube channel off the ground. I didn't need to do that. I built this thing from the ground up on my own. Pat McAfee, if I was ever signed to the Monday Night Raw announced team, Pat McAfee, I would destroy you on the microphone. I'd beat the piss out of you and Michael Cole. I'd make Michael Cole piss his pants while he sat next to you while he watched me beat you up. All right, little Pat McAfee, your weird little pelican face, weird fucking puss face you have. Anyway, Vince McMahon... Uh, we're going to get to this in a second. The alert's gone out on YouTube to everyone. Hopefully you guys have clicked the like button. Uh, and let's turn the donations on, too. How about that? Uh, donations are on. You want to say something about this? Make your voice be heard by using uh, a Super Chat or by doing even better than Super Chat. Uh, you guys can use the uh, Stream Elements or Labs uh, l a link. Donating link is here. Whatever you want to call it. There it is. Keep my lights on. If you use the donation link in the chat, I get the money right away. And my bank account is about empty. So use that link if you can. If you can't, super chat. That's fine. But I won't see it for 30 days. And Google will take 30% from you. So just so you know, that's the better way. Uh, but that's just for your information. You can do whatever you want, though. Or you can just hit that like button in the chat and just be a part of the stream. But share it out to everybody. I just ask you guys to share it to friends and people and use my Amazon link and all that other stuff. And tonight's monetize this, maybe. Uh, or uh, tonight, I don't know what's going to happen. Vince McMahon uh, is coming out tonight, apparently on SmackDown, by the way. So he must have known about this news leak as well. He just seems to know when everything is going on. After uh, this report on June 15th, we know about the report, all the millions in hush money. But going into this deeper, this wrestler alleges that Vince McMahon coerced her into giving him oral sex. That she was demoted and released from the company in 2005 after refusing uh, further sexual encounters, she says, allegedly. McMahon bought her silence on the matter in 2018 for a payout of $7.5 million. Meanwhile, in 2008, a former WWE contractor allegedly signed a non-disclosure agreement and was paid approximately $1 million after she presented the company with unsolicited nude photos of Mr. McMahon she reported receiving from him alleged that he had sexually harassed her on the job. And according to the journal's sources, another $1 million settlement for 2006 uh, went to a former manager who had worked for 10 years for McMahon before he allegedly initiated a sexual relationship with her. 
is that extortion or blackmail? I don't know, but either way, good call on the women's part. Hey, let me get a couple of a million out of this without having to go to court and stuff like that too. That's even better, right? You don't got to go to court and wait around. Pretty much like within a week, you get paid like a million bucks. You just go, yeah, give me the money and I won't do this. Okay, a week later, okay, a million dollars, two million dollars, whatever it is. Now, the other girl's got to be pissed because one woman got about $7.5 million allegedly. But what about the other one that got $1 million? She's got to be gypped. She's got to be thinking like, whoa, wait a minute. This other woman got $7.5 million, which is enough to take care of you, your kids, and their kids going forward. But $1 million is really only enough for your lifetime or for about 20 years or so, if you're careful. Uh, you know what I mean? Like that $1 million isn't... You know, that's not enough, you know, for, for a lifetime. So that's only enough to keep you good for 10 to 20 years or so, you know, unless you, well, if you know how to invest it right, I guess it, that's not true. But you know what I'm saying? You know, $1 million covers about 30 years, maybe, if you're really careful. But $7.5 million, that's enough for the rest of your life and your kids and their kids probably. And so... That other woman, alleged victim, has got to be pissed. A lot of people throwing names out like allegedly like Don Marie and so many other names like that. Hell, I think my mom's on the list, come to think of it. Shit bum. Uh, who's that? Well, God Phoenix is here. Actually, God Phoenix didn't say anything. He just donated uh, $3. Super chat. Thank you, God Phoenix. Uh, that is $3 uh, donated to the show. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and put that up on the board there. Uh, three bucks. Uh, let's see. I, I need to hit 300 by Saturday. Uh, we'll see if we can hit 300 by Saturday. I don't know if that's possible. Uh, that's how much I owe, so we'll, we'll say... We'll say uh, Shit bomb! There's the goal. What's up, Joe? Been a while since I've popped in. Whoa! Hope you are doing well. No, I'm not. <laughs> Cole Zeller. Uh, what up, Cole Zeller? Thank you for the $5 and becoming a $5 shit bum, man. I really appreciate it. I uh, I have driven home. Uh, I have, uh, I'm on my lunch break right now. Uh, I am luckily working remotely, casual today. Pretty good day. Can wear a t-shirt. It's a good day. Cole Zeller, thank you for the $5. I, I drove home. To perform this live stream for as long as I can during my lunch time, and then I drive back out again, and I'll be back later tonight again. It never stops. Cole Zeller, man, it's good to see your name. It's been a long time since I've uh, seen the name of Cole Zeller becoming a $5 shit bum. Um, that's pretty awesome, man. I, I hope you've been good, man. That's crazy. I have not been good. But I appreciate you asking. I mean, what am I gonna, what am I gonna lie? You know, hash M two Lowell. Hashtag M two. I don't know what that means. The Black Greek Mafia. Thank you, man. Wow, that takes us to twelve dollars. We're already, uh, we're already climbing the ranks towards uh, the the don the dono goal. Look at that. Oh my God, we're crazy. Uh, I don't know what that means. Does anybody know what? I don't even know what that means. I'm maybe I'm dumb. I'm supposed to know. Uh, I don't know. But uh, allegedly, there's four women involved in this situation. I got to keep saying allegedly because it's all just alleged. I, I don't know what's really going on here. I love Vince McMahon. I love the WWE. But, uh, you know, could it be Sonny? A lot of people are mentioning that. I mean, imagine if it was Sonny. Imagine if Sonny was blowing and sucking and gobbling Vince McMahon for years outside. A lot of people, Ratnick thinks it's Titus O'Neil in the chat. He says, I think it's Titus O'Neil. Let's look at the 2005 releases. Maybe it was Matt Morgan because he sucks. Uh, Annette Morris thinks it was Sasha Banks. I definitely think it's some like Christy Hemi or somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? I think it's somebody like that. No doubt about it. Uh, it could be Ashley. Well, sh isn't she dead? You know? Uh, Sean Ross Cyclops calling for Vince's head on Twitter. Well, he's a SJW shit bomb. piece of shit, so. Hash me too, lol. Oh, okay, me too. There you go, Black Greek Mafia. I'm a little stupid. Uh, thank you for the... I got two more dollars out of you, though, so that's pretty cool, man. Uh, $14 out of 300 Look at that, man, where we're going to pay the bills with uh, the chat tonight. 
So uh, let me go look at... Oh, I can't look at Sean Ross Sapp because he has me blocked because he's a social justice warrior. Um, but, you know... You know what my great... I know this is a sick thing to say. Do a little basketball oh. dance off the concrete. I mean, I'm just so sick of you little meth head devil worshippers. I'll be honest. I'd like to take a big bite out of your face. Vince had to have known this was going to come out. And that's why he's been coming out a lot lately so he can have a retirement tour before it's all over. Yes, that's, well, you know, that was one of our theories a little while ago that he's trying to soak it up and have this positive, like, connection with the crowd before he's forced out or something. Like, he may know that that's going to happen or, you know, he may, he may be stepping down on his own at some point just to be like, I guess I got to leave. You know, what's best for business is that I leave, you know? Uh, I, I don't know, Robbie Hyde. Thank you, Robbie. Uh, but that could be what it is. Like, no doubt about it. I, I don't know. I mean, that's been a speculation of mine as well, man. Like, I, I don't, I, I'm not really sure. But uh, that that could be what it is. I, I encourage you guys, don't expose women who are tied to the NDA and likely can't defend themselves. Um, hmm. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people aren't saying anything. A WWE source indicated uh, to Sean Schlong Ross, Vince McMahon shouted "F them" upon returning backstage from his on-screen appearance on June seventeenth, SmackDown. Uh, a lot more fallout. An update on John Laurinaitis and more. Blah 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 blah. Uh, Like, what the fuck is this? Fucking Twitter, like, blocks your screen to tell you to log in when you're trying to fucking... Trying to fucking read Twitter. God damn, I fucking hate that fucking Schlong Ross ass. Man, he's a piece of shit. Um... I don't think he's calling for his head, though. I mean, you said calling for his head. I don't think he's calling for his head. Man, there's nothing worse than that Salcedo bitch. I can't believe people actually follow her and like her. Just such a fake person. Like, oh my god, wrestling. I don't know what I'm talking about, though. Oh my god. I've never seen people give so little or do so little and have so much uh, for doing nothing. I built my show from the ground up on my own. These people are fake as hell, bro. Like, they're just so fake. And people believe it. I could launch a website tomorrow and call it, you know, Wrestling the Rumor World or whatever. And I could just fucking smile and pretend things. Like, it's just so goofy. What You know, that's why I, I prefer, like, Observer and Brian Alvarez. Like, he actually gives an opinion on things and news. He doesn't just, like, grab something someone else did and report it. Like, it. Like, oh, wow. And then not have their own opinion, really, of wrestling. These people are the worst. Oh, God. Dude, he's a fucking social justice warrior psycho. You know what I'm hoping? I'm hoping that, that soon... Um, I, and I don't know why... You know, I'm almost thinking about relaunching my show, and I'll just smile, and I'll be like, WWE stuff is great like i am so the biggest wwe fan anyway tell me about like what it was like when you oh my god like ah so i really hope that sean ross because he's an sjw so which means he's like one of the most evil type of people ever he pretends to be a victim and and, and all these other things but he's really like awful to people like he he buries and wants to hurt people who disagree with him i've never seen anything like it i mean it came close when JD used to work with me and he would block anybody in the chat who disagreed with him and he would demand that I block and ban anybody who disagreed with him. He was a very sick, weird thing. But, like, that wasn't sick and weird. It was just kind of, like, weird that he did that. Like, why would you block all these people just because they disagree with you? It's not like they said, you know, like, F your family to hell or something. They just simply disagreed with your wrestling take. Why would you do that? But... With, with with Sean Ross, man, he he actually wants to hurt Duncan people. Chino? You know, 
Don't mind if I hope somebody kills himself over him bullying them, and then it's on his head. That's what I'm. That's what we can hope for. Chino, you want creamy goodness? I'm your friend. Say hello to my chocolate blend. It's going to come out that Vince had a secret relationship with Pat Patterson. <laughs> oh my God! Well, that wouldn't be. First of all, if it came out, nobody would care. They'd be like, "Oh yeah, I mean, we always thought that." Like nobody would. Like that wouldn't even be anything. Like that would not be news. We would just be like, "Oh yes, okay, wow, look at that." Our th our theories of all these years are correct. I I bet that they had like some like. I bet you they had sex in the same room at some point. You know, like Pat Patterson had a guy there and, and Vince had a woman and they were all in the same room together. Or maybe Sean and Pat. You know? I don't know, man. Captain Solo, I salute you. Uh, thank you for the donation. Yeah, but I bet they all did uh, something together somewhere at some point. Thank you, man. We're making 27 out of 300. That's amazing. Pat, Pat, Patricia Patterson says Moses Gamer. That's a great point. But my man uh, has been under a harsh spotlight, writes Wrestling Inc. Uh, dot com. The WWE Board of Directors have reportedly launched this investigation, as we know about. Uh, we know about all the other stuff that they're writing here, so I'm not really worried about it. But there you go. I read the whole thing, and four women paid... Seven point five million to one of the women. I thought it was in total, uh, but it says seven point five million allegedly to one woman, one million to another. I mean, what were the rest of them? What was the money for the rest of them? AW reportedly pulled uh, Jonathan Gresham from international tour, probably because nobody knew who he was on the tour, and they were like, "Yeah, let's just pull him." You know, nobody knows who you are. Vince McMahon reportedly paid four women millions in hush money. AEW ratings are down. I mean, I'm trying to think of what else uh, we missed uh, the other night when out of nowhere completely went off the fucking rails last night. Uh, when <laughs> I didn't ever stop, I didn't ever stop on the show, so I was like, "Well, I'll, I, I guess I'll just put every whoever wants to come on on." And we just completely went off. The fucking radar. Shit bomb. Last night with that show. Now that you are home, come pet me. Or give me 7.5 million and we call it even. <laughs> Joe Cronin's dog, thank you. I let her out this morning, actually. Uh, Melly, don't you know I let you out this morning? Thank you for becoming a $5 shit bomb, though. I raised you from a small puppy. And now you have uh, paid me back with donations. Thank you. You know, you think Mick Foley is going to make an appearance on Noel Foley's OnlyFans? Like, maybe they can do a swimsuit shoot near the pool, and Mick could be there too? Like, that's that's not that weird, right? Like, that's... I would do that. I mean, I have a daughter, you know. If she was like, oh, I have, you know, I have an OnlyFans. Uh, she was like 22 years old, 25, whatever Noel is. And uh, she's like, you know, I have an OnlyFans. It's nothing gross. I just kind of take uh, pictures and like, un like bathing suits. Yeah, like, yeah, I'll, jo you know what? I'll, I'll, we'll go to the beach and I'll, I'll be, it'll be like, uh, yeah, like we'll take photos at the beach. That's not weird, right? That's not weird that McFoley's gonna be in pictures on his daughter's OnlyFans. That's not weird, right? You other dads out there, you guys could. This is normal, right? Probably an OnlyFans private thing where your daughter takes bikini photos. You know, daddy being in the picture, that's normal. That's okay. I could see that, right? Aren't you guys? What's what's wrong with that? Does anybody think that's weird? I mean, it's 2022, guys. It's 2022. Power. It is noteworthy that the percentage of women who register to vote and cast a ballot is consistently higher than the percentage of the men who do so. End of quote. Repeat the line. Women are not without election. <laughs> oh, my God. I got to be honest with you guys. I've read from a lot of teleprompters, right? Over the years, I've read from a lot of teleprompters. And when they write it, I read it. I can't help it. A lot of times. Not all the times, but a lot of times. I go, don't even write, 
don't ever write the word the words stop or end quote or nothing. I will fucking read that. If it's the end of the quote, draw a line. I would tell the person, draw a line. And I'd make the person, whenever I was reading a teleprompter, like, draw a line or put, a, like, a red dot or something. Like, that tells me that's the end. And if you, you know what I mean? Like, don't tell me to do something or I will do it. And uh, this, you know, this is why, you know, because I'll do the same thing. And cast a ballot is consistently higher than the percentage of the men who do so. End of quote. Repeat the line. Women are not without electoral and or political or, or maybe precise, not and or or political power. That's another way of saying that you, the women of America, can determine the outcome of this issue. Men who register to vote and cast a ballot is consistently higher than the percentage of the men who do so. End of quote. Repeat the line. Women are not with the percentage of the men who do so. End of quote. Repeat the line. Women are not without electoral and or political or, or maybe precise, not and or or political power. That's another way of saying that you, the women of America, can determine the outcome of this issue. I don't. The teleprompter actually says to repeat the line. Like it's not just a reading; it's actually telling you how to deliver the word, like to deliver the words a second time. <laughs> deliver the words a second time. It's telling you to do that. That'd be like if I'm doing my show and I'm like, listen, guys, Vince McMahon has been doing this for years. Vince McMahon has been doing this for years. But, but instead I did this. I'm telling you guys, Vince McMahon has been doing this for years. Say that two times. Repeat that line. Vince McMahon has been doing this for two for years. What? Oh, what? Uh, computing program exploding head. Blah, 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 blah. Wow. All right. Well, anyway, uh, I was weird. I was awkward. Uh, end of quote. Period. Uh, they, they're telling me to say this. <laughs> hey, they're telling me to tell you guys. Reciprocity is the best attribute right now in America. Uh, end of quote. Repeat with intensity. Reciprocity. Like, I mean, like, who taught? What is going on? Okay, though. Very good. Thank you, uh, Joe Cronin's dog, uh, for the $5. Anyway, Vince McMahon needs a teleprompter like that. But tonight on on SmackDown, Vince McMahon is coming out tonight on SmackDown. He is coming out tonight, and he's going to lead off SmackDown tonight. Vince McMahon is. And we'll see what happens. I'm surprised he didn't fall down I'm trying to read it. It says, Cody Guada. What's up, Cody? Very interesting. I, I know that I don't know what that has to do with Vince McMahon, but I just was scrolling through Twitter looking for more Vince McMahon news, and I happened to see uh, Joe Biden uh, reading the teleprompter very terribly. So I, uh, sorry, I had to uh, had to bring it up. It's kind of funny. Um, you know, I don't know. What up, Captain Solo? Thank you for the ten dollars. Uh, let's see what else we got. Getty Lee's here. Anthony, what are you saying? Uh, dude, love all over her face. What the hell? Oh, dude, love all over her face. I get it. I re see. I read it bad, like Joe Biden would. I read, dude, love all over her face. What? What does that mean? Oh, dude, love all over her face. There was no comma, but I read a comma that wasn't there. See, Noelle Foley is pretty. Like I do think she's she's pretty. Was well, remember his wife is very pretty. Mick Foley's wife is unbelievably pretty. Like, do you remember her back in the day? You're like, wow. Like, Mick Foley, what did he do? Like, Mick Fo you know what it is? you know what Mick Foley did is Mick Foley's not afraid to reach for his dreams or to, like, reach for the top, reach for the sky. Mick Foley said, I wanted to be a wrestler. I'm going to go be a wrestler. I don't care what any, what any about anything. That's, that's something you can say about Mick Foley. This guy 
doesn't settle for average. He goes for it, and he goes all the way. No matter what it is, he goes for it. I a lot of people could do that in life or learn from that in life because uh, this guy knows what he wants, and he goes and gets what he wants. He wants to be a wrestler. He goes and bees a wrestler. He, get, he wants a hot woman. He goes and gets a hot woman. I mean, she is, like, got a hot, hot, hot woman, man. I mean, I don't know what she looks like now. They're older, but, I mean, she was, uh, I mean, they're, they're older now, you know what I mean? But back in the day, yeah, man, Mick Foley and his wife, I'd pay for that video. <laughs> That's fucked up. Uh, well, you can see some very interesting stuff, uh, on her Twitter, though. Like I said, Mrs. Foley's baby boys, baby girls, baby maker on, uh, OnlyFans. It's going to be a good time. You know, if Mick Foley's daughter was alive in the 90s or 80s, I mean, she would have been in an Aerosmith video. You know what I mean? She seems like a sweetheart. I think. I'm not... Like, we're talking about people we don't like earlier. You know? His daughter is always, I think for the most part, seemingly nice. You know, I, I don't think I've ever thought that she's, you know... Like a... Like... There are so many wrestling women or wrestling, like, journalistic people or wrestling personality women on Twitter and YouTube that are fuck they're fully cringy and they're just awful. Like, it's terrible to watch. She's not one of them. And she, you know, Casanova, thank you for subbing to the channel. What's going on? What's up? So, yeah, I, I definitely give her that, um, that credit. Now... The boyfriend's a clown, you know, so that's not good, but <laughs> I don't know, man, but, uh, she seems, Noel Foley seems nice. It's too bad that she has to have an only, I mean, I hope, it, I hope she makes, I hope she does well, you know what I mean? You know, cause, uh, I like when people do well. You all have decided to take your hard-earned money. Whoa. And to fund my show. Oh, to shit. To fund what I do. To fund what I believe in. To fund my godly ass. JCS Army. Donate to me. It's Colonel Stutters. Acknowledge me. Welcome everyone to SmackDown. Here comes Mr. McMahon. Welcome everyone my name is Vincent Kennedy McMahon, and I'm the greatest Mick. Here's my apology, gives middle finger, now hit my music. <laughs> that probably is what's going to happen tonight. I can't find that Joe Biden tweet now. Somebody find that for me. God damn, I got to find it. It's too funny. Uh, Colonel Stutters, man. Holy crap. That is what's going to happen, right? I don't know why this is happening. Thank you, Colonel Stutters. I don't know why this is happening, but it is. Vince McMahon coming out again. And now, you know, there's this big biopic on Vince McMahon, and we talked about this. Yes, Vince McMahon is going to lead off SmackDown tonight. So, I mean, Vince McMahon had the women laying the SmackDown on his schlonger, allegedly. I mean, nobody cares. You guys realize that nobody really cares. Do you know why nobody? You know why I don't really care that much. It's weird because you would think that I would care, and and I think I do. There is a part of me that does, but there's a part of me that doesn't care at all. For for let me give you the reasons, right? Like let's let's go back, let's go back twenty years ago, right? Like let's go back twenty years ago, and I'm gonna do some. It's this is 
guys, it's your favorite time. It's time for Joe Cronin paints. And you guys love when I paint, right? You love when I take out the paintbrushes on Windows Paint and I start painting something. So let's I'm a, I'm a fucking artist. You want to see it? I'm a goddamn artist. It's like I'm trying to think of a graph, right? Like you take a graph like this and you say like uh all right, like here's the year uh, what? 2004. Here's the year 2004. And then like here's the year 2022. Right? And it's like, now we don't even know what a woman a woman is anymore, right? And like, my sympathy for women, so like, my sympathy for women in like 2004, it was like fully for women. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I was fully sympathized, empathy, liberal, whatever, right? In 2004, that was me. Sympathy for women, it's a pink, Right? Like so, if your sympathy for women was like, like say, say like blue is zero, right? Like blue is zero. We'll say that sympathy for women blue is zero. Blue is like you have no sympathy for women whatsoever. Orange is like you have a little bit. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, green is like you know you you really care, but like only about the serious problems. Like you only care about the very serious problems. That's green. And then, like, like light, like, wait a minute. No, we should make pink. Pink should be the fucking you really care. Pink, pink is you really care. Pink is, like, you really care, you really love. And then, like, blue is, like, blue is, like, you don't give a fuck. You're, like, all for men and whatever you can do. Uh, So, like, I would say that over the years, like, I was, like, you know, I was like pink. I was like, yeah, I really care about everything women. And then after like probably around like what, 2000, 2012, I don't know. Like after all the Me Too and the weird and the lies and whatever they've done and whatever else, it was like then at some point I, I then I got a brain after 2004. I was like 22 years old and I realized that not everybody is guilty of attacking women and stuff like that. So like around – when I became sensible, I started becoming like an orange. I was like, all right, yeah, men are men are garbage, but, you know, not every man, you know, does this to women, and some women are lying, and some women, you know, whatever. So you just got to look at everybody's thing. You know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an orange, you know. But now, you know, then in 2012, after some of the Me Too and some of those things, you're like a green, you know. You turn you turn green a little bit, um, you know, but and, and now... You know, you're green for a bit, like you're kind of not not there anymore. But we're we're about to go we're about to go full blue. So I'm at the point now where like I'm like full. I, I might be full blue at this point. You might have turned me into a, a blue. So like fully fully blindly empathetic for women, all women, no matter what. Then you told me I had to be. Then 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 around this time, let's circle the time period. Right around this period. Maybe maybe right right around here. You told me, th- and this is about the time where you said, ju- you know, you've got to love like anything. Me too. Like, so this was around the time that you told me I had to be, I had to believe all women, right? So like around around this time, you were like, believe all women, and I was like, oh wow, believe all women. So like, no matter what, believe all women. Oh my god. I got to believe all women around this period. I spelled believe wrong, but whatever, you understand. Uh, believe all women. And then you were like, oh, um, then then what, what else did we say? Like, uh, you know, I believe everything what we say. And then, like, what happened is, like, then, like, Jussie Smollett, um, you know, Amber Heard, Enzo situation, uh, you know, human trafficking, uh, you know, and the list just goes on and on and on of examples of things that made me like, oh, you know, you've got to whatever. And then they told me when the judge was hired and they asked her, you know, well, what is a woman? And she said, I'm not a biologist. What is a woman? Well, we don't know what a woman is anymore, I guess, but we do. And I don't know, like if we're talking about abortion, we know what a woman is, I guess. 
But also now there there's no more mothers anymore, no moms. It's birthing people. So, okay, there's no more mothers anymore. There's birthing people. That's all there is now is birthing people, according to people. So you can see how this childlike painting that I've grafted of how everything works. But see, in 2004, you told me, listen to dad, men rule, F women. This was 2004. So in, in two, so you can see in 2000, you can see how Joe Cronin's mind works. You see, you tell Joe Cronin what to do, and you tell a lot of people what to do, and they don't believe you anymore. They don't care. They don't care if you're bad because they're sick of being told what is bad and what is good and what is what, when we know pretty much what is what and whatever. So in 2004, you told me, no, men are great. They rule. Men are their shit. Women are weak, and we're the best. Like, even in 2004, we're, we're kick-ass. You know what I mean? Pour stuff all over women's tits, and who cares? They suck, whatever. So, like, I had more sympathy for women. I was like, oh, you know, you know, men are kind of in the ruling power. Women have it kind of rough still. It's not, not, not really. It was 2004. We were much more progressive. I mean, it wasn't the 60s or the 50s or the 40s. You know what I mean? I mean, and there were strong women back then. But, I mean, in 2004, you know, we still kind of were like, yeah, men fucking rule. Yeah, shut up, woman. You know, and there were still scandals with women and things like that were happening starting in the like, you know, late 80s to 90s. But you know what I'm saying? Overall, I was like, oh, you know, I was mostly in Pink's Corner in 2004. But you've converted me, uh, everybody. You guys have converted me to the point where I went to orange, to green, and now it's believe all women, believe what we say, Jesse Smollett, Amber Heard, Enzo Amore, canceled for nothing, human trafficking, Giselle Maxwell is in trouble, yet nobody's in trouble uh, guilty of trafficking, yet to thousands of celebrities and people. Well, who are they? We don't know. Oh, okay. So the person's in trouble, but none of the people that did the, that made sex with the children are in trouble. Oh, God. What is a woman? We don't know. No moms anymore. They're called birthing people. So now it's 2022, and you want me to feel bad for somebody who uh, gobbled a powerful man? I don't. I don't. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I don't care if Vince McMahon used his power. I don't care if Vince McMahon uses position, power, or anything to gobble, to suck and gobble. I don't care. Suck, gobble, swallow at this point. You know what I mean? Uh, Nelly, Nelly, you'd have to tell me what that is. I don't really know about that. I'm not really sure about that. Let me know what you're talking about because I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. Looks like a Biden power plan, uh, PowerPoint. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so, uh, there you go. There's my chart of how I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. I watched, uh, people like, uh, that weird British wrestling guy who did nothing really but cheat on his wife leave YouTube for two years because he got it on with people. And I don't get it. Jonathan, thank you for subbing to the channel. What's up? Vince used his grape roots. Um... Yeah, unless Vince McMahon raped somebody, assaulted somebody and raped them. If you rape someone and assault them, then I'm good. Then we're in trouble. You know, then you're in trouble with me. But if you did not rape or, like, hurt somebody harmfully, I don't care at this point. And I think a lot of people are feeling that way, and that's why they cheer Vince McMahon when he comes out. Because I, we used to, we used to, I used to, you know, be weary of sort of like the toxic man. But now they're telling us about the toxic man and how toxic it is. But they're fully way more toxic. So now I don't believe that anymore. So I am now in the blue camp. You've you've changed me as a person. To not give a shit anymore. Where, where in 2004, if it had come out that some guy was using his power over some woman in the company and getting sex favors, I would be like, oh, man, we got to do something about that. You can't let that happen. But now I feel like I don't give a crap. I don't care. You know, I don't care. But yeah, you can't, you can't, rape obviously, yeah, you know, you, you, we've got problems if you're raping people. 
Uh, now, but see, here's the problem, though. If you are, if somebody's life is on the line, let, let's be serious for a minute, because I'm kind of joking around a little bit here and whatever. Let's be serious, though. Let's paint the real picture. I'm making a sad joke out of it, but let's paint a, a let's paint a bad situation. A woman has two children. She's in the WWE for a year. She makes sixty thousand dollars. She now is about to be fired. Uh, she feels. But Vince McMahon starts coming to her and saying, you know, well, you know, maybe I'd keep you around if there was something I could do with you. And, uh, you know, then he sa- sort of says, you know, like maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, you know, there's something you can do with me, you know. And then basically uh, coerce her into, you know, rubbing him and hugging him. And then it leads to kissing him. And then it leads to him sending a few photos. And then it leads to her gobbling him. And then she keeps her job while she gobbles him, you know. So in a way, the reason why that's a problem, right, is because you're 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 sort of like it's like unethically you're it's like you're you're using your power over somebody, which is like it's like a way of it's not ra- it's not rape, but it is like a a way of getting. You know, it's not rape, but it's like the next step. It's like, okay, I, I'm not going to flat out rape you, but um, I will use everything in my power. And you have a child at home or you have a, a mortgage payment. Uh, you know, you've almost got no choice for the most part, but you do have a choice to leave. You can go ahead and leave. But man, is it tempting. So it's, uh, you know, I understand, but there's degrees, right? There's rape, there's, there's assault, there's rape. Then there's the next step, which is this sort of thing. Um, and so that's why, you know, it's it's on all of us to, to check each other, to make sure, like, you know, that's not a very good thing to do to somebody. You know what I mean? Like, that's not a nice thing and a good thing to do to somebody. So, you know, we can sit here and, uh, you know, joke about it, which I am doing because I love to joke about things. And this graph isn't that off of what I really feel like. You know, this is what they've really done to me. I feel like I just don't care anymore. You know, I really don't for the most part. But I'm playing the devil's advocate in because my brain works like this. I have a I have a left and a right in my brain and it's just I go back and forth all the time. You know, I don't know what the hell uh, I'm thinking. But it's not a crime. I know that. But he is on a board of, you know, he is part of a company that's public and there's a board of directors and there's and using money to pay women for this powerful sexual engagement, you know, something's going to come of it. I don't know what it is yet, but we do know that tonight Vince McMahon is leading off SmackDown. Did you hear what's happening about the teabagging in Halo? I guess even in video games is still, what? A Bowers Wrestling, what's up? Wait, what are they getting? They're getting rid of teabagging in Halo. What? I love teabagging in Halo. Why would you? Why would they get rid of that? That's. They better not do that, man. I teabag, you know, all day, dude. My kid does it to me. He kills me. He sits on my head, and I'm like, "What are you doing?" You know, it's funny. The first time he did it to me, he didn't say anything. He just did it. And then I was like, "What do you? What the hell? Did you just? Te- what are you doing to me?" And he goes, oh, I don't don't know. I just like something people do. And I was like, what do you mean it's something people do? You're sitting on my face in the game? And he's like, (laughs) and then he like laughed or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, there's a name for it. Do you know what that is? And he's like, I don't know. I'm like, what do you mean? You, You know what you just did to me? What did you just do? What is the name of that? What you just did to me? He goes, teabag. (laughs) <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? So um, I'm like, dude, I played Halo since the day it came out. I've, I've been doing that since forever. I've been doing that since I was uh, 16 years old in Halo. Or what was I? I wasn't 16. Yeah, I was uh, 17. I said, since 17 years old, I've been doing that to people. So you don't think I know what it is? He's like, I don't know. Pat Patterson teabagged Vince. He won't say anything. He'll say, welcome to Friday Night Smackdown like he did before. Probably. 
Probably. He should come out with two women. Wouldn't that be funny? They better not get rid of teabagging. Yes, it's sexual misconduct misconduct at work and sex manipulation, says Melissa Solers. Yeah, it's true. I mean, like, here's the thing, man. I, I, I mean, we all know how I, I think you know how I feel. I mean, here's the thing. I, I, I don't, obviously Enzo Amore was lied about by a woman. She's a liar. She's a scumbag. But that doesn't mean that in real life, I'm going to throw, I'm going to be like, oh, well, it's okay to sexual assault women at work then, I guess. You know, everybody needs to legitimately, like, we need to protect our our women, you know what I mean? But we also need to not, and protect each other, no matter, men and women, we need to protect everybody. But I mean, you know, or like look out for each other no matter what. But what we don't need to do is take false information and just run away with it like a witch hunt. We need to stop the witch hunts, stop the bogus claims everywhere, and give harsher penalties for bogus claims. Because bogus claims need to be, you need to be prosecuted, but you won't be. That's the problem. Hell, a guy in New York is in jail the other day. He stabbed the guy because the guy broke into his shop and broke behind his counter and assaulted him. And he stabbed the guy, defended himself, and he's in prison right now. This country is insane. So we don't need, we need any woman who lies. And I mean, we can prove that they're a liar, like Amber Heard. People like that need to pay or they need to be in major trouble. Like I'm talking about major shit. They need to be fucked, like in major shit and problems and like go to jail potentially, whatever the case is. They need to be in some fucking serious shit. Like I'm, if they do something. But. We still need to look out for people, you know, and, and, you know, when you own your own company, though, things are a little bit different. Like Vince McMahon, you know, you get you sort of get this whatever. Jonathan Rendon, thanks for subbing to the channel, Jonathan. Uh, we need to protect kids from women. We need to protect kids from everybody. Usually women protect the kids, but everybody's going to everybody's going to look out for everybody. Um, I don't care. They used to F ring boys. Yeah, this is nothing, Mary Sue. I mean, no doubt about it. I mean, they used to do... I mean, they used to feed... Uh, allegedly feed young boys to Pat Patterson. That's the alleged. I mean, t older wrestlers in the 90s, in the early 90s, came out about the 80s that they used to, like, do things to ring boys. That's a weird thing and a strange thing to allege if it's not true. You know, that is a wild thing to allege if it's not true, right? Like, nobody cares about kids, though. Has anybody ever noticed that? Nobody cares about kids? If a woman says something, it's like it's treated insane, like, and it's real. People get fired. But when it comes to kids, almost nobody cares. It's weird. I don't know what, what the reason is for that. It's like Jizwell, Jizzle Maxwell, Jizwell Maxwell. I call her Jizwell Maxwell. Um, Shit bomb. You know. Check your Twitter DMs. Thank you, James Messner. Did you send me the Biden clip again? Because I lost it. Oh, social media users are debating whether teabagging in video games should be considered sexual assault. Jesus Christ. If that's true, they're retarded. Please, somebody send me the full clip of Joe Biden again. I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Pro choice. Is this it? The court said, when you look at the majority, women are not without electoral or Republicans who for decades have pushed the extreme agenda. This. This is the fact. Can somebody get me the Joe Biden teleprompter uh, glitch again? That was hilarious, and I can't find it anymore. God damn it, it was funny. Oh, here is this it? Maybe I found it. Attention that this is the first use of a weapon to murder someone in the, in Japan. Oh, yes. Uh, okay. That's not it either. Jesus, there's so many clips of Biden today that I can't, I can't roast them all. But find me the teleprompter one if anybody has it. 
Oh, wait, I found it. Never mind. I found it. Oh, my God. Percentage of women. This is not a political thing. I, I've been making fun of the presidents for years. I made fun of George Bush. I made fun of Bill Clinton jizzing on people when I was a kid. I, I literally have the tapes. I have tapes from 1997 or something where I was like a 12-year-old or 11-year-old or something, and I've got my tape recorder, and I'm like, Monica Lewinsky, like, oh, and I'm like making jizz noises, and I'm like, I'll be, I did this whole skit. I've been doing this for years. Bill Clinton, George Bush. You know, I really didn't say much about Obama. Obama never was that funny to me. He was just kind of like, I'm going to do this. I'm Obama. Here's the thing. Like, he really didn't, I don't know, I didn't really make fun of Obama a lot. I, I don't know why. I, I didn't pick on him much. Uh, but but definitely I did for Bush, for sure. And, and now Joe Biden, because this is just, I mean, this is hilarious. He reads the teleprompter. Because the because the deep state tells them everything to say. The men who do so. End of quote. Repeat the line. <laughs> he even reads it with like empathy. Re repeat the line. Repeat the line. Like <laughs> that's what's funny about it. It's not funny that he goes repeat the line. It's funny that he goes repeat the line. Like he says it with like this open empathy. Oh my god! Like he's all, like he's so used to. He's he's so used to programming and his emotions out there. So now you know when he says things like, "Come on, man!" Like it's part of the world. It's part of the thing. Whenever he says does something like that, you know it's not even real. Like none of this is real. This person's not real. The ballot is consistently higher than the percentage of the men who do so. End of quote. Repeat the line. Women are not without electoral and or political or or maybe precise not and or or political power. That's another saying that you, the women of America, can determine the outcome consistently higher than the percentage of the men who do so. End of quote. Repeat the line. <laughs> Re repeat the line. Women are not without electoral and or... Repeat the line. Uh, yeah, yes. Uh, welcome to Alex Jones. Guys, you have just... You thought you were watching a wrestling show, but no, you're watching a political show. Guys, I'm Joe Crone, and this is seriously uh, the, the, the goblins... Repeat the line, yes, I will do what you say, slave master. Uh, teleprompter, deep state has written my script for me. Uh, repeat the line, tell it with em empathy a second time. I'm going to say, I am a robot, Joe Biden. I am a robot. P kill yourself. We will increase the, the food shortages. We'll continue. You will love it. You will like the food shortages. You will... Call your mother a birthing person. You are no longer women. I will follow what my government says. I love the government. More government. I want to be communist. I want to kill people who look like me. White people need to die. I love slave goblins, hobgoblins who infest our waters. I want to kill people because the government said so. I will tell people what to do. Reptilians are coming. I don't care about my life anymore. Sorry. Um, it's not that crazy, though. They're saying. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. <laughs> Let me just have another sip of coffee. By the way, I'm a I'm a registered liberal. Uh push the white fear. <laughs> Let's push the, we got to push the, get everybody going, line up, seriously. Uh, Joe Jones is here. Repeat the, repeat the line. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Anyway, um, I probably just lost more supporters because of that. Everybody's going to interpret, you know, what I am, you know, by what I do. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not registered anymore, actually. I, You know, I don't think I've been registered to vote now in a long time. But you know what? No, jur no jury duty, so that's good. George Bush couldn't talk. he take the cake. Yeah, George Bush was a mess. <laughs> hey, guys. So I'm a fucking idiot. Like, <laughs> that's, that's, that's basically jo George Bush. I miss jo George Bush was hilarious. We had eight years of hilarity when he was president. You know what I mean? And now we got Biden. He's ridiculous. 
I mean, and uh, Trump was funny. I'm, I mean, the next president, there's no way they're going to be this entertaining. I don't think, unless Trump's back. Guys, don't you want Vince McMahon to run for president? If Vince McMahon gets kicked out of WWE, who doesn't want Vince McMahon to run for president? I do. President McMahon? I'll tell you what we're going to do, uh, Russia. Here's the deal. We're going to burn in hell. No, that'd be really bad. I wouldn't, you know, based on what Vince has done with WWE the last 10 years, I wouldn't want Vince to be president because I feel like Vince is somebody who would say that he does everything for the people but wouldn't listen really. You know, Vince is at the point right now where he doesn't listen to people really. So I, I don't think I would want Vince to be president because Vince, I don't think, would really listen to any of us because he doesn't listen to us when it comes to wrestling really. And he's completely out of touch with everything. So I would not want him to be president. Because he would be completely out of touch with everything. You know? Uh, so, yeah, no Vince, uh, president-wise. And I, I, I don't know. I don't know what Vince would do if he, if he you know. What, what, what if Vince sold all the company and sold his stock and everything, and then he went to, <laughs> then he showed up in AEW as the, as like, a, as a position. Like, he showed up in AEW to be the, uh. Like Vince McMahon trying to take over AEW. And Tony Khan has to fight the evil Vince McMahon. Electoral to do so. End of quote. Repeat the line. He doesn't say what. He does not say let, Joel. Anyway, I think I've babbled on about the world enough. And I've been live for uh, one hour. So, that being said, I hope you guys hit the like button. Um, we did our best today. Thank you, James Mesner, for the $2. And everybody else who subscribed, hit the like. If you're watching this in replay, you can super thanks down below if you want, if it gives you the option to do that on this. I didn't get demonetized. Uh, if you guys want to support me, uh, if you buy, do you buy things on Amazon? Like, are you someone who buys stuff on Amazon? But you're like, I would never give this backwards hat loser a dollar. Like, I just don't do that. But you buy things on Amazon. You're like, you know, I'd like to help Joe, but I don't give a shit, really. Uh, and you're not a patron. You're not becoming a patron on patreon.com slash Joe Corona Joe. But you buy things on Amazon. Well... You can use my Amazon link. There it is right there in the chat. That's my Amazon link. If you save that and you click it every time before you buy things on Amazon, I'll get credit for the things you buy. Now, there was one point where I was really pushing this about two years ago. Two years ago, I pushed I pushed the hell out of it. And one month, I actually made $350, which was, at the time, it covered my electric bill. So, But for the past uh, year and a half to two years... You know, eight bucks, ten bucks, twenty bucks a month. You know, a little. It's not a lot. So, you know, but I'm gonna push it here Shit today. Bum. Use that link if you can. Captain Solo, thank you for the tip, man. That's a cool little gamer gift there, by the way. Uh, thank you, Captain Solo, man. I really appreciate it. I I, I appreciate you guys letting me uh, randomly vent and throw out all these ideas that some I don't even agree with, but it's fun to go crazy. Uh, Matthew McConaughey or The Rock? That'd be pretty cool. Uh, no, I gotta go back to work. Uh, Johnny Ace. I think Johnny Ace will be fired. I, you know, I don't think Johnny Ace is gonna return. And maybe Johnny Ace returns in like three years, but he's gone. I think for the foreseeable future, he's gone. I don't think he'll return. That's what I think, but I mean, maybe he'll be back in a year. Maybe he'll just be gone for like a year and come back. Um... You know, I still think that he's going to get out of this. I think he's just too powerful. He's too big. You know? That's really what I think. But I, I... Like I said, I could be wrong about it. I don't know. I could be wrong about a lot of things that I've said here today. We'll see. Um, I think that's it. I was I was also waiting around a little bit, see if any other news broke or something else happened. But there really has been no update or follow-up yet. So we'll see what happens. Tonight... Uh, Vince McMahon leads off SmackDown. So Vince McMahon will show up tonight on SmackDown. 
that'll be fun to see what happens tonight. And uh, we'll talk more about other things. If anybody has any disagreements or opinions or follow-ups on things that I said here, leave it in the comment section of this video. Preferably drop a super thanks if you guys want to support the show. Otherwise, just leave a regular comment, though. I'll, I'll be able to read your comments on this video later. With, with questions you have, concerns that you have, concerns about my opinions, questions about my opinions or comments, your own opinions, let me know down below. I'd love to read them and maybe follow up and answer some of those questions that you might have uh, or comments. And uh, I'm not afraid of them, so please leave them down below. Love to see them. And uh, if you disagree with me or agree with me or are confused by me, whatever it is, uh, leave it down below. I'd like to answer that. Maybe I'll answer them tonight or in a separate video. Tonight is supposed to be mo monetize this. Um, so we'll do monetize this, but it will be a SmackDown review as well, I believe. Potentially, if I can do a SmackDown review, you'll see it say SmackDown review slash you know, monetize this. Otherwise, it will just be monetize this if I, d if I didn't see any SmackDown, which that you know, we'll do. I don't know what will happen. Thank you, guys. I'm out of here, and I'll see you tonight. Could be Don Maria Christie Hemi. Yeah, it could be. They were pretty good looking. It would be the right call.